Hello guys, welcome back to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a pop-up or model by using HTML and JavaScript in a very easiest way by using the new dialog element. Now, if you have ever made a model or pop-up in JavaScript and HTML, you might be knowing that how much CSS and JavaScript is required for that because you have to create overlays, you have to create your model element, then you have to adjust it with positions, you have to apply Z indexes and write a bunch of JavaScript to hide and show it. But in this case, the dialog element by default covers all of that and gives you one of the easiest way to create the model. So let's see how to do it. So for that, simply go ahead and create a dialog element and let's give it an ID that we'll use to open and close it. So my model. And inside that, put some dummy content. In future, you can put whatever content you want. And we'll be also creating a button that we'll use to open the model. So let's write open model on that button. Now let's see what are we getting till now. So if you see, you can only see the button. There is nothing available. That means this dialog element is by default hidden and you cannot see it. So the CSS is saved that you use to hide your divs and overlays. That much CSS, now you don't have to do it. Now to open this model, let's use some JavaScript. So first of all, let's go here and create a function called as open model. And inside this, let's get this element and call its function. So document dot get element by ID, my model, and it gives you a function called as show model that should help you to open the model. So save it. And now let's call this function onto this button. So on click open model, save it and let's test it out. Save both the pages and here we go. Open model. Okay. Something is missing. Let's see what's the mistake on click open model dialogue ID. Okay. The ID you can see here it's capital M. So let me just put it small M and here we go. Now it should be working. And here we go. You can see an element appears that was not there and you can see it also has a backdrop and some content area in between. So all the CSS that you used to write for creating this backdrop overlay and this content area is saved. Now I can also change the styling of this using CSS. So let's go ahead and let's see how to do it. So again, we have a dialogue element. So this element right here, this white element is nothing but your dialogue element. So I can just go here and put dialogue and I can give it whatever width I want. So I can give it like width of 70% height of 300 pixel. I can remove the border. So border none because it's having a by default black border. And now you'll see when I open it, you can see a beautiful white area content area in which now you can put whatever content you want, but you can also see this backdrop here. What if I want to style this backdrop according to my CSS? So no issues. This dialog element provides you a pseudo element called as backdrop, which you can use to style that element. So in this case, I can just go ahead and give it a background color, let's say of black or whatever I want. And here we go. You can see that now it's black and now I can do whatever I want. So I can also give it an opacity of let's say 0.7 or 0.6. And now you'll see it's kind of black and you can still see the things behind it. So it's, you can make it transparent. It's just a simple backdrop. Now let's also see how to close this model. And again, that is very, very simple. So let's go inside this model and create a button and let's call close model. Now again, we need to create a function. So let's create a function called as close model. Now I know guys, I'm pronouncing model. Some people also pronounce it like modal, but I just find it a little weird. So I just call it model. So document dot get element by ID. Again, my model and simply a function called as close is enough. That's it. So close model. Let's take this function and let's go here on this button and put on click close model. Save it. And now let's see. So open model. Here we go. And we also have a close model click and that's it. So now you can open, close the model. You can stylize this. You can put whatever content you want and you also have a beautiful backdrop that you can change by this pseudo class. So that's it guys. So now whenever you want to create a simple model or pop-up, you don't have to waste 10, 15 minutes. You can just give two minutes and make this simple model using HTML and JS. So that's it from this video guys. I hope you liked it and please also subscribe to the channel and like the video so that I can also grow. 
and that's it thank you so much everyone i'll see you in the next videos bye bye